Welcome everyone. I've got with me today a Pentium 2 processor and it is in a slot one configuration here in this motherboard which uh, was fairly common in the mid 90s, mid to late 90s. Some Pentium 2, some Pentium 3s even came in this configuration but if you are not used to this configuration I don't blame you at all because there's only sort of that window in which processors uh, fit in this configuration or made in this configuration rather than the standard horizontal slot. So um, I wanted to, to show you real quick today how to remove these, um, put a new one in, and it's really a simple process but um, can be a little tricky. Some of these that have been on the motherboard and in these slots for some time might need actually a little bit of pressure to pull them out. But uh, yeah, I wanted to just kind of show you how that's done. So let's zoom in here and um, you know what you can see actually on this processor. These tabs um, on either side here at the top on your processor, on your slot one processor. And if they are pushed in, uh, you should be good to go. Um, as far as that is concerned. Uh, however, if they're out like this, uh, you do actually want to push these in. I think these are a fairly common feature on these uh, slot one cards. You know, push that in because these actually hold uh, the, the processor cartridge here um, to these slot one columns. Now on, on mine here, uh, you do have these tabs on the sides that you can press in. Um, but on this particular cartridge, uh, these don't really do anything. Um, so I know there's some variability in the cartridges configuration, the uh, configuration of these uh, columns here. So on yours, you might actually have to press these in and pull this out at the same time. But on mine, I actually don't need to do that. Perhaps on yours as well. And so, um, you know, if the motherboard is out like this, this is not in the case, um, just be careful of the capacitors, you know, along the sides and so forth, your other components, because those can be uh, damaged pretty easily. Um, but you do want to have a good, fairly good grip on the motherboard, right? And I find that sort of rocking it back and forth a little bit tends to help. And then eventually you'll get one side loose probably and then from there you can go ahead and just pull up the cartridge. So these are kind of neat, these, these slot one processors, definitely a bit unique, a bit different. And uh, you know, you've got the heat sink here on one side which helps dissipate that heat and for the most part um, that's all you needed. I, I know on some Pentium 3s they would also attach a fan here so you would have extra uh, you know, air flowing and air cooling going on there. But uh, your, your pens basically are here, you know, and they, they attach to uh, the slot down here. It looks a lot like an AGP uh, port or a memory slot or something like that. So kind of, kind of neat, kind of strange. Um, but uh, this was a way for them to uh, package this and, and dissipate that heat. So, um, you know, in terms, of, in terms of installing a new one, I think it's pretty self-evident. Just make sure it's facing the right way. And it, usually these cartridges have some grooves here. You can kind of see this here. So, you know, it's kind of lined it up with the grooves in these columns. And it'll just slide down in there. And then, you know, just keep pressing. And it might take a few seconds to actually get it all the way down in there, but you should have kind of a good uh, click and contact once it's all the way down in there. And that's about it. Now, if it, you know, if you have the motherboard still in the case, uh, it might actually make it slightly easier in the sense that your case, that your motherboard's going to be held down by screws, and you can just pull out. Um, just make sure that these are together and, you know, um, I would say be cautious, but at the same time, you might actually have to apply a decent amount of force in order to actually remove these cards. So, you know, do what you can in terms of holding the motherboard in place. You, even if it's screwed into the case, you don't want to break the motherboard. You don't want, you know, to, to, for it to crack where those screws are. 
So try to just hold the motherboard in place. Maybe just put your hand over it if you can while you are uh, lifting up and out on that uh, processor cartridge. And that should be about it. I am, if you are kind of a subscriber of this video or if you've seen some of my other videos, um, this motherboard with a different processor actually is going to be part of that tower, the Tower of Doom uh, project. So look for some new videos about that here in the near future where I'm replacing actually this Pentium 2 with a Pentium 3 processor, hopefully, and I'll be able to get that to work. I actually needed to get this particular motherboard for that uh, project because um, it should accept a Pentium 3 processor and also it's got an AGP port uh, as well as some ISO ports. So it's kind of, it hits all my boxes. Um, it's kind of, uh, uh, it's in a transition point between some you know older technology and some newer technology there in the late 90s. But there will be more videos about that here uh, in the near future. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and uh, I'll see you next time.